Good morning to all. I am Thirumurugan, Deputy Registrar, working in a Regional Evaluation Centre, Kuchin. Today, I am going to tell about the record management. Record management is a part of uh, one work in the government offices as well as in the private offices. In 2016, the government of India introduced such Bharat, and as part of that, again they introduced Sachita Pakwada, a fortnight campaign. This special campaign 4.0 has been introduced by the government to ensure cleanliness of office premises. One of the areas where cleanliness is required is records management. What is a record? A record is a document or set of data that shows that an event happened or is created or received in the course of an organization's business. Records can be created by or at the time of an event and are closely associated enough to be evidence that it is happened. Records can be in many formats, including paper, electronic, video, or computer memory. Records are kept for a variety of reasons, including administrative, financial, historical, or legal. The value of a record is determined by its content, not its format. Difference between the personal record and the official record. The main difference between the personal records and the official records is that the personal records are for an individual's own affairs, while official records are for public records that are created or maintained by an agency. Personal records. These records are for an individual's own affairs and are not publicly accessible. For example, your personal health record can help you track your health and progress towards your health goals. Official records. These records are public records that are created or maintained by an agency and are often required by law. Examples of official records include recorded documents, judgments, licenses, vital statistics, and property records. Importance of official record. Official records are important for a number of reasons, including historical source. Official records can be important source of information about the past, including what officials thought, were interested in, and wanted to preserve. Accountability. Records are a crucial source of information for public servants, and without them, there can be no rule of law or accountability. Protection. Good record keeping can protect you from and your organization in legal or other challenges. Records can show that you have made concerted decisions and taken appropriate actions. Governance. Records are vital to almost every aspect of the governance process and the effectiveness of the public service depends on the availability of information in records. Various sources of official record. There are several sources of official records, including government documents. These include budgets, publications, law, regulations, court cases, and more. Archives. There are many <coughs> Primary sources that include unique unpublished materials created at the time of an event. Census. This is a primary source that provides an official record of a nation's demographics. Business records. These include account books and ledgers that can provide insight into a community's social and economic history. Photographs. 
these are a common type of primary source that can document events, relationships, and more. Maps. These can help researchers visualize how an area has changed over time. Other sources of official records include central and state government archives and records of intermediate and subordinate authority. Similarities between the procedure of maintaining a record in government offices and in autonomous bodies. The government creates an autonomous body to accomplish a certain goal. When it is felt that some duties need to be carried out outside of the governmental structure with some amount of autonomy and flexibility, without the daily interference of the governmental machinery, autonomy, autonomous bodies are established. Autonomous bodies file tax under others. Records retention schedule. One of the prerequisites of good records management is to ensure that records are neither prematurely destroyed nor kept for periods longer than required at the cost of economy and efficiency. Thus, in order to prescribe judicious retention periods to different categories of records, a records retention schedule RRS, needs to be drawn by the concerned records creating agencies. Records management has always remained a critical activity of government departments as good records management is viewed as key to efficient administration in respect of management of records. The National Archives of India and the Department of Administration Reforms and Public Grievances are both equally responsible for the formulation of guidelines on preparation of records retention schedule. The Department of Administration Reforms and public grievances is responsible for guidelines in preparation of records retention schedule for records pertaining to facilitative functions common to all the ministries, departments of Government of India to ensure that there is uniformity in retention schedule of records relating to establishment, personal and housekeeping matters and work of common nature. Time prescribed for each of the official records to be located. Service book, lifetime of the institution, pay bill register, 35 years, cash book, 35 years, ledger, 35 years, ECR, 35 years. ECR means uh, expenditure control registers, then stock register, 35 years, application forms, uh, answers kept, award sheet, bill forms from the evaluator are all uh, uh, time to time it will be revised. Uh, uh, in autonomous bodies, it is uh, two years span. Types of records to be maintained in an autonomous institution. Administrative records. Records which pertain to the origin, development activities and the accomplishment of the agency. These generally fall into two categories. Policy records and operational records. Policy records. Records that relate to the organization, such as plans, methods, techniques, or rules which the agency has adopted to carry out its responsibilities and functions. These include three basic categories organizational documents, budget and budget planning records, fiscal records, organizational and functional charts, governing documents. Manual, directives, orders, and the interpretations issued from top authority levels. Correspondence files of high, high level officials, regulations, circulars, instructions, memoranda, or regular issuances that establish a course of action, and staff studies or special reports relating to methods of workloads and the performances. The reporting documents. Annual reports, periodic progress or summary reports, special reports or accomplishments, transcripts of hearing, minutes of meetings and conferences, and the agency histories. Operational records. Records necessary to implement the administrative policies, procedures, and operations. 
the official value is the usefulness of a record in the context of an organization's business. Examples include mandates, decisional records, or records that give direction. Legal records. Records of legal value include those with evidence of legal enforceable rights or obligations of the state. These may include records relating to the property rights, land, probate, contracts, agreements, leases, licenses. Records relating to the citizenship rights, vital statistics such as birth, death, marriage, some legal proceedings, and criminal cases. <coughs> records relating to employment, residence records involving legal rights attached to the employment, basic state personal records, and in some cases, payroll records. Records containing information required to protect the state against claims or to enforce statutes. Executive orders, rules, regulations, and records to establish or support judicial opinions and interpretations. Fiscal records. Records that have fiscal value relate to an agency's financial transactions. These may be budgets, payrolls, vouchers, and accounting records. After records have served their primary administrative purpose, it may be necessary to preserve them to document the expenditure of public money and to account for them to, for audit purposes and requirements. Historical records. Records worthy of permanent preservation for reference and research purposes are selected for deposit in the <coughs> National Archives of India. These records are retained for many users. <coughs> Public officials use archival records to protect the government, to give consistency and continuity to their actions, to prevent duplication of efforts, and to find successful ways for solving recurrent problems. Records are also kept to protect citizens' legal rights and for research in any field to advance general knowledge and understanding. <coughs> Research records. Records used in scholarly studies and investigations. Researchers want to extend human knowledge using basic historical evidence. These records may include important information on individuals, corporate bodies, including their problems and conditions, and significant historical events. Researchers may include case files and correspondence of their relative and quasi judicial nature statistical and other data on economic development, population changes, and our major movements in our society. Many of these records have informational, administrative, and archival value. Electronic records. The National Archives of India <coughs> depends an electronic record as a, a record created, generated, sent, communicated, received or stored by electronic means, including but not limited to the passive mails, emails, uh, telex, internet messages, and WhatsApp. Electronic messages sent or received in the context of public business or public records. Mode of disposal, prevalence for disposal of official records. Earlier it was disposed at the local level at present as per the <coughs> uh, government of India's instruction, it has to be disposed through MSTC portal. The administrative procedure for documenting the life of the record in an autonomous institution, LPC, lost pay certificates, certification from all the officials, public notices on website, digitization of records before disposal, creating witness in digital means for future reference and uploading in public domain. What you hear so far? So far we heard that what is a record? What is the 
difference between the personal record and the official record? What is the importance of official record? What are the various sources of official record? What are the similarities between the procedure of maintaining a record in business, government offices, and then autonomous bodies? What is the time prescribed for each of the official records? <clears throat> what are the types of records to be maintained in an autonomous institution? What are the mode of disposal prevalent for disposal of official records? What are the administrative procedures for documenting the life of the record in an autonomous institution? Conclusion. Before I conclude, can I give some self-check list for the record management which you are handling? Is the record signed? Is the file retaining their notes and the correspondence neatly arranged in an appropriate places? Have you cleaned the shelf where you have kept the last week, last month, last year file? How fast can you retrieve your file for presentation? How safe is the file from tampering, missing pages, like for photocopy and not placed back, presented with another file without retaining the copy? How the fact is recorded in a record in the democratic sector? Do you throw the pressure or stand up for the facts? I thank the authorities of IGNO for giving this opportunity to share my thoughts on record management. I am also grateful to Sri Sebastian D. Cruz, AEDP, for providing the back office operations for this live debate. Thank you. Thank you, IGNO. Thank you all. Thanks for watching this record management program. Thank you so much.